What's up y'all? Preston Smiles here from the beautiful beaches of Maui. It is slightly raining. I'm out here by myself in these gorgeous conditions. And today's transmission, ooh, ooh, bloop, 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 is seven ways to raise your vibration immediately. Now, at this very moment, it is starting to rain pretty damn hard. So I'm gonna walk back towards the trees. Yes! Way number one <laughs> is get into nature. Dance in the rain, feel life, right? We are still nature. There's a part of all of us that is still seeking to tap back in. Get into the trees, wherever you are, wherever you are, there is a little bit of nature. Even if it's just going to a park and putting your feet in the grass, closing your eyes and letting the sun beam on your face. Getting into nature immediately lifts your vibration. There are scientific studies that show that People who spend more time in nature, people who have dogs and end up in dog parks, live longer and are happier. Way number two to raising your vibration is drink more water. Guys, we have 70% water, but so many of us end up drinking soda and high fructose corn syrup type of drinks and things of this nature, and the body needs to be replenished. So many people um, think that they're hungry when in actuality, they are just dehydrated. The more water you drink, the higher vibrations you will have. And your skin will get clearer, you'll have more energy, I promise you. Way number three to raising your vibration. Do you guys hear this beautiful rain? Oh, it's so good, is dance. Guys, we still have bodies. And the more you move your, your, your physiology, right? Have you ever noticed that when you're feeling really low, you tend to be slumped, head down. There's a look of depressed. There's a look of sadness, right? And so if you're, if you're feeling down and you wanna raise your vibration, shift your physiology. Literally shift your body. Move, because motion creates emotion. So if, if, if you move, turn on a song, put on a song that you absolutely love, and dance your face off for like five to 10 minutes, two to three songs. I guarantee you, when you come out of that, your life will be completely different. You'll feel different because motion creates emotion. And so if you're dancing, if you're moving your physiology and you're dancing and you're in your body, it literally raises your frequency. Way number four to raising your vibration is hang out. Hang out with some friends. We are social beings. We were born into tribes and into villages and we need each other. We hang out with your friends. Figure out a way to get with people who love you. Hang out in tribe. You see, we are social beings. We were born into villages and into tribes. And in our uh, high-tech, low-touch society, we have become very isolated. So many of us spend a lot of time behind computers. And so the more you spend time with friends and family and laughing and in social situations, the higher your vibration will be. Why? Because there's a part of all of us that is looking to feel accepted, that is looking for security, that is looking to have camaraderie with someone else. So if you are experiencing isolation, one of the first places you can go to is tell somebody. Tell somebody online. Ask somebody who you talk to in the virtual world to get on a phone call. I know it's a novel thing, but literally, get on call. Talk to somebody, especially men. We found that in this society right now, men are committing suicide four times more than women are. And a lot of it is because men have no place or have not created this space or the place where they can actually talk about their problems and things they're up to. And for any of you guys looking to uh, up level and, and get over some fears, I have a beautiful free program at PrestonSmiles.com forward slash overcome dash fear. Way number five to raising your vibration. Oh, oh, bloop, bloop, bloop. Rastafari is exactly what I just did. Create a power move. Create something that for you is a symbol of your power, of your beauty, of your magic. You see, for me, every time I do that, right? Oh, oh, bloop, bloop, bloop. This is a reminder that life is good, that life is precious, that life is beautiful, and I still have it. It immediately puts me in state. I have a power move. I promise you try this. It, it, you know, it, it may seem weird or whatever the case may be, but it literally does something to your cells, to your physiology. I've programmed, reprogrammed, I've deprogrammed the BS and reprogrammed my power. So every time I, 
right? Something comes out of me. Have you ever noticed that? If you watch any of my videos, if I, any video I start like that, I come out the gate firing. Way number six is stillness. If you don't go within, you will go without. Meditation. All the great masters have said it, have been talking about it for years. Meditation is a game changer. Now what you call meditation is up to you. For me, what I do is A, and I used to do transcendental meditation, and I would do it um, twice a day, 20 minutes a day. And transcendental is amazing. Now, I have formulated my own Preston Smiles version of meditation where I do not set a timer or an alarm or anything of that nature. I just sit still and let the body speak. Let the mind speak, let the spirit speak, let the soul speak through to and as me. And I just pay attention to my breath. And when the mind goes off on a journey and starts riding dragons and doing all kinds of stuff, the moment I notice, oh, I'm riding a dragon right now, I bring my mind and I redirect it back to the breath and stillness. And then the mind takes off again. And then I bring it back to the breath and stillness. And I don't judge it. Every time I catch that, it's not, oh, you shouldn't be thinking this. I just catch it and bring it back. Catch and bring it back. I'm just redirecting. This is a absolute game changer. Way number seven and one of the most important way to raise your vibration is to tap into your spirituality. As far as our science goes, we don't even know what's in the ocean, let alone what created us. As far as our science goes, you and I are particles. We are energy in a space. And there's a point when if we broke you down over and over and over again, there would be nothing, no thing. And so these skin suits are temporary. These bodies are temporary, but you, the person that is beyond the body and the faces and all that stuff, there's something bigger and greater than us. And, and, and when you lean into that, and I'm not saying that it needs to be through religion or anything of that nature, but if it is for you, do it, but lean into, ask for support, talk to what you would call God or spirit or energy or Buddha or Krishna or Allah or whatever name is on the door for you. And so, without further ado, bloop, 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 bloop. I love you all deeply. I hope that this video has served you in some form or fashion. If it has, please share it, leave a comment, let me know which one really resonated with you and get to work guys, right? Faith without works is dead. You have to get into action. So choose one or two of these and do them now. A-S-A-P. I love you all so much. Blessings and blessings from the beautiful beaches of Maui, Hawaii. I am, we are, hashtag loves voices going down in a beautiful major way. Ooh, Let's get it.